Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, the last part of my 30 cards in 30 days challenge. What I've decided to do is to review this last, what have I got, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. Um, and then I will do a separate video with a review of all 30 cards that I've done. Uh, it's actually slightly more than 30 because some of them I've done uh, two of and one of them I've done three of. And then I will do the giveaway in that video rather than trying to cram it all into one. So this video will be looking at the last part. So this is part four, the final part of the cards that I've done. And we'll put away the special drills and then I'll put away the resin drills um, off camera. And then, yeah, then you can look forward to the prize draw, the giveaway. Yay! OK, so we started off, we'd got up to number 21. So number 22 was this lovely long card with the roses on, which you could actually cut these out if you wanted to or use this as a topper or something on a card or just use the card as is. And I did have two of these, so I have done both of them and the colours and the sparkle on them are gorgeous. They are all resin gems that Craft Buddy do. So you do get that extra sparkle because there's more facets on the gems but the colours are absolutely wonderful right uh, sorry about that the telephone call in the middle of filming but never mind so yeah two lovely rose cards um you could use them as uh, even just like a note look you know and write a full um story in here really to somebody or you can just use them as cards or put a uh, stamp a greeting or whatever in but i always like them because they're very generic um, you know, you, you could send that for birthday, anniversary, thinking of you, anything like that. Just really nice cards. And again, uh, with Craft Buddy, you do get a really good shading on all the different colours. You know, these leaves have got three different colours on. The rose has got, what, one, two, three, four different colours on it. So you get a real depth and a real um, sense that they've been thought out and done really well. So I love these. I haven't got any special drills in this one. So let me just oops, cut the key card off the back and put it in with the card, with the gems. Keep them all together. We've had our recycling bin emptied today, so that's really good. So there's plenty of space for all my diamond painting stuff to go in. <laughs> okay. And then this is one of my all-time favourites. I absolutely love it. It's uh, well, all special drill gems. Uh, well, apart from the 310 black in the middle. But look at the sparkle on that. It is absolutely stunning. And for a little card, it really does give a big impact. So it's all sparkly gems, all your different colours going round. I think it's supposed to be like the Tree of Life or like an autumn through to winterish, but different interpretations of the colours. Either that or it's a rainbow. Red, orange, Richard of York gave battle in vain. Yeah, it's a rainbow. It is actually a rainbow. I've only just realised that. How old were you when you realised that this is a rainbow? Yeah. So um, you've got red, orange, green blue indigo violet yeah you've got your rainbow colors there but how super is that um i've seen people on the craft buddy facebook group uh, and they have made this into a bigger card or into a picture i have got two of these because there's no way that i'm sending this out to somebody if i do i've got to keep one for myself so yeah as i said i do tend to collect them as well as actually doing them but how super is that i just can't believe i didn't realize it was a rainbow before <laughs> just typical me so we've got a lot of special drills Ooh, look at all those to put away okay but yeah that is one of my all-time favorite cards a small card that really does give a big impact lovely and then oops we went back to easter with peter rabbit again um, I mean, it is, unfortunately, it has got Easter eggs on it, so really you would need to send it at Easter. But I keep cards all year round, so, you know, um, 
I do have uh, relatives in far off climes, shall we say, Australia and Japan. So if you're sending cards early, sometimes you can't get the cards early enough to be able to post them off to get there in time. So, you know, this will just save till next year. But again, you know, you've got your different colours on your little ducklings there, which are really sweet. I think the special drills on the eggs have just really made it pop and really made it sparkle. And then the daffodil in the background. Just a really pretty card. Lovely quality. I love craft buddy cards. And I have to say, I have ordered some of the new ones as well. And there is Toe Peter Rabbit Christmas cards that I've ordered. Can't wait for them to come. I was hoping they might be here today. So, yeah, we've got some special drills in there as well to put away. So, let's put this key code off the back of this one. It's just easier if uh, you've got a smaller piece. But if you are sort of muddling them up, make sure you know which one came off which. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to have fun trying to match your gems up. Okay. So, I'll just pop that one in there. Right, so that's two cards. We've got things to do on that one. We don't have anything to do on, so I'll put that out of the way there. We then have Cats in America. I really enjoyed doing these. I'm not particularly into like the superheroes and Marvel. I know my brother always used to get a Marvel comic every week. Um, this one just had the gems, I think, on the there and then just round the edges. But they've come out really well. I think these deserve to be pictures, really, rather than cards. I mean, they're great to send to people as cards. Uh, and this one actually has Captain Marvel uh, written going lengthways down the uh, background. It's like computer lettering just going down the background with Captain Marvel uh, there. But, yeah, he looks really powerful and cross, doesn't he? You know, you're not going to mess with him, are you? <laughs> And uh, this one was the one that came in the pack. So we've got the sheet with the DMC codes on for that one. Okay, I think the tree was as well. Yeah, the tree was the set as well. So the next one was another of the Peter Rabbit set, which is the Flopsy Bunnies, which again, really a pretty card. Uh, I'm not quite sure why they're studying this. Ugh. I remembered what these were called the other day and I can't remember now. Those long flowers with like the trumpets on them. Um, but yeah, they're all special drill down the middle there. But uh, yeah, they're all studying this flower. Maybe they're going to eat it. Maybe it's like a, a really nice tasty snack that they've got there. But uh, yeah, and they've all got the little capes on look. But yeah, that's the Flopsy Bunnies. Love Beatrix Potter. Okay, so we'll cut key code off this one because this was specials on it as well okay should have got a bigger pair of scissors it's not really good to be cutting out uh, small bits with small scissors if you've got bigger scissors it makes it quicker but never mind it is what it is <laughs> so we'll pop that one oops doesn't want to go in in there then this one is one of the mandala cards and again absolutely stunning all special drills and look how shiny that is just the way that that pattern goes and it reminds me of like one of the indian saris you know where you've got all those gorgeous colors all together and i think that pop of orange just makes that aqua color just really stand out very very pretty really nice to do and you've got your a b little teardrops just in between it as well and that gorgeous gem in the middle there yeah and they, they take what i would think between sort of half an hour 40 minutes to do some of these depending on how many gems there are on them some of them you can do a little bit quicker but this one obviously there's a lot of gems on this so this one just did take that a little bit longer but they're definitely worth it once you've got them doing done and you sit back you think wow that is super love that so again that's one of the ones that came in the set so we need the uh, sheet that came with it with the key codes on uh, this one rather than doing two of the same of the flower cards i'd forgotten i had this one i had it put in a separate place so you won't have seen this when i did my launch it wasn't part of the initial 30 that i did it was another one that i found 
but again i think this is super i mean how many cards have you seen with a little african gray parrot an iguana there obviously you've got your cat and your dog and your bunny they're fairly standard and then we've got a ferret at the end a card with a ferret on it i mean wonderful any animal lover and again i've got two of these because one of them is actually on my wall at the moment because i love these animals and just the thought of having a parrot an iguana and a ferret on a card it's just wonderful and they really do look like uh, what they're supposed to be as well it's not like you look at it and think what is that i mean to get a parrot with possibly only about 15 drills on it and it still looks like a parrot i think that's amazing so yeah i'm really impressed with that card again this is one of my favorites i love my tree best and i think this was the next one uh, even though it is animals uh, and usually i like animals best i still like that tree with all that color on and i like it even more now i know it's a rainbow <laughs> Okay, so let's put those together there because we know we need the sheet for those. And that one as well, because that one hasn't got the key code with it. And then the two Flopsy Bunnies have got the little key codes. And Captain America, we need one of the sheets as well, I'm thinking as I go along here. And then the Christmas one, this was the little snowman. Now this was really strange and um, the colours were quite odd on this snowman so I did alter quite a bit and um, in fact it, it more or less looks different to how it started out let me have a look what colours did I change yeah let me get these out so for starters on the white what I've done is use my pack I've got um, a big bag of B5 200s and then what I've done is put a big pack of B5 200s with an equivalent size pack of uh, B5 200 ABs, put them all together in a bag and mix them up. So I've used those and it means that you get like a random pattern of ABs in between the white. So as you can see, you do get that little bit extra sparkle where the ABs are. Um, the scarf was supposed to be B5200. Actually, that was the colour that the snowman was supposed to be. Well, I've never seen like a brown snowman before. Uh, I've seen a few yellow ones. <laughs> but I thought, no, that's completely the wrong colour to do a snowman in. So I substituted some drills I already had for those. And then the scarf was supposed to be, the white on the scarf was supposed to be the B5200, which I thought would look too much. So I've used 3865 on the scarf on and the hat uh, for the stripes, um, because I just thought then it just stands out. It's just a slight off-white, so it stands out and makes it different. Uh, I think you can see, yeah, you can see the different colour. So it just makes it that little bit different to the um, snowman. I also then used, um, what colour did I use? Oh, that's, yeah, I've used 3865 for the robin's tummy as well, because the robin was supposed to be that colour. And I thought that colour's not really right for, oh, was that the outside? No, that was the outside. No, that was, yeah, that was that colour for the robin. So it was like a grey colour for his bottom half, which I think robins are always more red and white. So I substituted that for that. The robin's little chest was supposed to be like this orangey colour. So I used the deep red that we've got in the scarf there to put on the robin. And then his back was supposed to be that colour. Now, I've never seen a green robin <laughs> So I just used some brown drills that I already had. Um, so it is very, very different, this set of snowman, to how it was actually charted. It was a bit strange. Um, I'm not quite sure why they'd done it the way that they had. Um, but yeah, so I've just changed it out. So it is more, um, you know, white snowman with ABs, red and white scarf and red and white robin. And then just the orange on the... Um, a nose on the carrot on the snowman uh, i have seen somebody as well actually change out the red um on the scarf and put their own um football colors so like black do a black and white one 
or an orange and white one or whatever um, so that you've got your own football team if you're wanting to send it to uh, a young man or an older man or a little boy <laughs> or a girl. Girls about football and rugby as well. So, yeah, you can change it to be your own colours. But, uh, yeah, I think they're really, really pretty. And that is my first Christmas cards of this year. Despite the fact that in January I did say I was going to make one Christmas card a week. I haven't done. Um, time has just completely got away from me. And I'm going to blame some of uh, the fact that Hubby's been going in and out of hospital as well. <laughs> so, yeah, so we've got some different colours on that one to put away. Uh, oh, no, it's just going to be the ABs on this one. Yeah, it's just the 5200 ABs that I've got. So I didn't actually use two packs of the 5200 because uh, I already had my big mixed pack, so I didn't need those. Okay, so oh, that one very straight line, Liz. Goodness me, won't get any marks for cutting on that one. So I'll put that into there. And I'll put all those back into there. As I say, I've got quite a few bags that I actually didn't use on this because the colours just didn't look right to me. For whatever reason, the colours just weren't right on them. So maybe they used a different manufacturer or something or a different way of charting that, but certainly they, they didn't they just didn't look right. So I just did my own thing with that. And always remember your diamond paintings are your project and if you want to add things or take them away or do something different then you can do and then finally uh, we're on to our two parrots which if you remember i did have the five cards and i asked everybody to choose um oops which card they would like me to do for card number 30 and overwhelmingly it was the parrots so here is the parrot card and i think it's come out gorgeous the colors on that are just wonderful and they've got such cheeky little expressions. I think they're plotting something. They're going to get up to something and do something, I think. Yes, they're going to get up to mischief, those parrots. You can think that they're just going to run off and do something and they're going to either grab something and run off with it or they're going to say something naughty. <laughs> but yeah, good sparkle on that one. So, and again, that one was in the kit. Oh, I've already put those away. There was... Um, Actually, no special drills on this one again. It was just your standard resin. Okay, so put that one away. As you can see, I did number them all as well. I did keep them all in order so I knew where I was. So let's just grab my special drill box and let me grab a tray. And we'll get the specials put away and see if we've got any new ones this time. We had quite a few new ones last time, so we'll see what there is this time. Albeit some of these I have already done one of them already, so we may find that I've already got the bag for them because I've already had the drill in it. But we'll, we'll see where we are, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to put these B5200s away first and we can get him out of the way. And they actually go into my ABs. My white ABs that I have an awful lot of. Let me just move Captain America over there a second. Okay. Oops, gosh, nearly dropped my drawer then. This is my art dot uh, drawers. Ooh, one bag had an awful lot more in it than the other look. Ooh, this person must have been uh, having an off day. Right, where's my scissors? And a tray, and does that one not have many in it? Or shall I start a new one? I'll start a new one. I just seem to have so many. It's because I do uh, a lot of special drills, and a lot of them do have, and I've opened this packet the wrong way as well. A lot of them do have the white air base. Okay. Right, yes, if you open them lengthways, as I've been told, then you don't end up with this flappy bit to contend with. You've got a nice straight edge there for pouring. I think that was possibly Jeanette that gave me that tip. Uh, thank you, Jeanette, if it was, and apologies if it was somebody else that told me that tip. Now, where did I put the lid? Oh, it's there. <laughs> and I'm not going to label that because I know what they are. And it's right next to those as well. 
so that's that one done right we do captain america next okay so he had a number one four and 47 there look just three anything with a zero in the front or anything with an a b in the front um or a letter in the front actually uh, is a special drill so we are looking for three different ones Oops, let me put those away for now maybe needing those again these drills out i don't remember those being in this i've got the wrong drills with this i think these are the wrong drills these are the wrong drills these are captain america <laughs> What have you done, Liz? Right, these are C ten B three. Right, are they the drills for this one then? Ah, right, these are the drills for that one. Look, so I've put them in the wrong one. So hopefully, we'll have a look. Yes, I've just flipped them around. Look, I can see this one's got the blue. Yes, that's Captain America. <sighs> Goodness me, Liz, what are you doing? It's a good job I keep the little packets with the things on. So we'll just pop those up. Putting the wrong ones in the wrong ones again. Look, put those back in there. Right, so we'll try that again, shall we? <laughs> In America has got three. So I'm just thinking there was a teardrop in it. I'm thinking there was no teardrops on Captain America. He doesn't cry, he's a superhero. Okay, and there was no A B, so we've just got the three crystal gems. I'll put those back in there because they'll be going in my normal resin drills. So we are looking for that one's, uh, that's K, which is number 47. That's J, which is number four. And that's number uh, K. Oops, no, that's that. That's I, which is number one. And number one is the standard crystal, which our bag is getting very, very full. I'll put these in here. Oh, these horrid little bags that I've kept from other companies that uh, end up you can't open those little ends. All right. So I just put those in there. Okay, I've quite enjoyed doing this 30 cards in 30 days. Um, you'll have to let me know in the comments what you think. I say it's been uh, quite fun and it has made me get these cards done because they've been sat there looking at me and taking up space in a box um, that I need for other things because I've got so much at the moment as you know I am sorting out um, and I did need the space so that's number four so that actually all of my cards other than the ones that I'm doing for the giveaway have been done now uh, she says having ordered just a few more, but they are Christmas ones that I've ordered. Right, so, and then K was number 47. So have we got a 47? It's 48 there. We have got a 47. That's good. So we'll grab number 47 and get that one put in here. Okay. Yeah, I've really enjoyed doing them. Um, I say it's one of those things that the little projects, I think, oh, it'll only take me five minutes. I'll, I'll do that another day. I'll do that another day. And uh, another day never comes. So actually doing like a challenge. Um, and I have put them on Admo Zest's uh, Facebook page every day as well. Um, other people have been working on different projects. 
so i've just been working along doing a card a day and uh, a lovely lady donna bailey um has been doing a card a day as well with me so it's been quite funny we've not actually done the same card on the same day albeit a lot of the cards that we have done have been exactly the same card so it was quite funny to see that i'd post it one day and uh, donna would post it the next or vice versa so yeah and we are going to do in July 31 Christmas cards in 31 days. So uh, Donna's um, going to join in with me as well. And we're going to have a go at uh, doing that so that I can get the Christmas cards done and out of the way as well. Which I thought would be an excellent idea. <laughs> okay, let me just move these over here. Right, so this one then is a little mandala card. Gorgeous colours. And these were all special bills. And we need the code number of these packets. So let's have a look. And the code number of the card. So it's uh, 10 by 15 B3. So if we look on our key code here, it's B3. Okay. Yeah, so if you buy the multi-packs, what they tend to do is put you a key code for all of them just on uh, one sheet so it's easier rather than putting them separately and you know up in costs and things you do pay quite a bit less for buying the um multi-packs rather than buying them all singly because they don't have all the single packaging um, and it saves a little bit of waste as well so we're on b3 so I just grab a little green tray and we'll work our way down these numbers so we're looking for we'll try and do them no i don't know we will i'll just do them as i pick them up shall i no i'll do them in order so that's j i j h Ah, uh, we have got some resin ones there, so A and B, so yeah, there was some resin drills in this, I do apologise. A and B the sta are the standard resin gems, but look at those colours, absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got D there, is that one C? Oh, C is the um, white A, B, so I'll put that on one side, so I've got D. And that's F, D. F. That must be G then, is it? Is one of them G? G, H, I, J and K. So they're all in order. Right, so we're not doing A and B because they're your standards. We'll leave these till the end and then whatever we've got we'll put together. That's the B5200 whites. Um, and then so we're on number uh d which is 10 so have we got a number 10 let's have a look we have got a number 10 this is hot pink we do like our hot pink okay oops right. once i get my dmc code card set up uh for for my uh crystal gems then i will be incorporating these into dmc numbers i think i'm not entirely sure because it may not work but we'll see how we go 47 we've just had 47 on captain america so we know we've got a number 47 which is a lovely blue color okay oops come on open up that's it those into there that's good oops okay so that's number 46 47 there and then f is number 74 let's see if we've got that one yes we have as i say i have done these cards before so fingers crossed i've done them when i was putting them in order so i have got bags for each one. Oh, i don't want to come open look come on open Get open, come on. That's it. Okay, lovely amber colour there. Say that pop of orangey, ambery colour with that blue. 
we've just really made these pop oh everything's going static uh, we've had quite a bit of rain today but it's still not cold it's still very very warm and very humid and it's horrid so g is 102 okay which is lovely deep purpley color oh these bags are awful Trying to get them up. Let's say they're just ones that I've saved. You know, when you get like the two or three in your little toolkits from some companies, and uh, yeah, they're just really like paper thin and don't open, and they're just horrid. Not good to use at all. Right, we're on to our specials now. So M is marquee. So we've got uh, H, which is M sixteen. So let's have a look in our marquees, just see if I can pull this forward a bit so you can see it. So have we got number 16? Did we do a number 16? 15, 16, yes we have. Oh, there's not many. Okay, so I'll get those in there. Right. Oh, one's escaped. I'll get that one later. It's made a break for freedom and bounced off the desk and gone onto the floor. <laughs> oh dear, if it's that desperate to escape, I'll let it have its freedom. <laughs> right, and then the next one is number 49. So M49, oh 43, we haven't got a 49. Oh, okay. I thought I'd done this one before, but I can't see number 49 there. 56, 57. Oh, we have it it's just out of sync. Oh, that's all right. Very strange. Okay, let's get this one. Put it off. I'm just going to be chopping the edges, the tops off these bags in a minute. I'm trying to get into them. It's horrid. Don't annoy me. <laughs> I'll turn into the Incredible Hulk off one of my marble. Marble. <laughs> Oh no, marble cards. Oh dear, silly me. Right, so let's put this back in the right place so we know where to find it for next time. And then the next one is a Y43. So we're looking at the Ys, which are all the larger rounds, and we want number 43. Okay. Oh, I've got my miscellaneous bag there. Put that. I've just got ones where, um, oh, it's got a boggly eye in there as well. That's just like little flowers and things, resin flowers that I've got in there. And, uh, oh yeah, that was just a strange shape. <laughs> I thought it looked like an L. It was just a strange shape that was uh, in with my drills. So I kept that as well. <laughs> right, I forgot what I was looking for now. 43, Liz, 43. Where is it? 44, 43. Ooh, I love these. They've got like a crisscross effect. They're not like a diamond cut effect. It looks like it's all lines going across and across like a crisscross effect. Very pretty. Well, these bags are going in the bin because I just can't be doing with using these again. They're just too much faffing about trying to reopen them. Right, and then the final one is an S which for whatever reason they've decided to put teardrops rather than them being a T, they're an S. <laughs> and that one is S93. Okay, 93, there it is. Oh, I do love it when you can just put them away and there's a little place for everything. And then what else I'm going to do is get a piece of card and I am going to do it and put one of each gem on the piece of card and label them so I know exactly what I've got. So if I'm looking for a specific gem, um, if I'm doing a, a project that I've made up myself, then I know what gems I've got and what I can use. So that is that one all completely done now. Keep those two in there. Ooh, stuck to the desk. that one done and I'll keep the AB white just there for now because I think we might have some more of those 
and onto the tree. I love the tree. So what number is the tree? Is B5. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's that extra little one. Look, I'll put it away in a second. We may come across it again. And B5 is this one. Look, it actually had 20. There's 20 different gems and colours on this little teeny tiny card. So I'll keep it folded up for now. The only one that was the uh, normal resin drill was the there is the black which my blacks all go in a little well a big bag actually <laughs> okay so that is that let's have a look for the three tens so we'll put those there as well because they'll be going somewhere different let's see if we can get these in order now right okay these are in a strange order so we'll see how we go with these Right, so we've got number four for starters, okay, which is our nice red colour. I hope you're still with me. <laughs> Putting away drills. Okay, so that's number four. And then we want number 27, which I think we've... Have we just had 27? No, it's a green, isn't it? 27. Okay. So that's number. 27. Now then, D is further down because it's a Y letter. So even though it was D on the little snake um, of drills that we had, it's uh, just out of the way that way a minute, so we'll put him out the way. So then we're on to E, which is number 47, which is the one that we have just had. So the last three cards have had number 47 on them. Very popular colour. It's a gorgeous blue, though. nice sparkly colour. Is another bigger shape as well so that will come at the bottom as well so we're on to H now which is number 74 78 74 okay all right let's put in here all right cracking on I think this is the one that has the most drills, so this is the one that's going to take the longest to do. So if you want to go and make a cup of tea. <laughs> um, I, oh no, that's, yeah, that is I. Uh, I's right at the bottom, so that's another one that goes there. So we're on now 97. Okay. I hope he's got some friends over, so if you can hear a noise in the background, he's not watching telly, he's talking really loudly with his friends, which is good. It's nice to have visitors. Okay, which means I can sneak up to my craft room and get my videos done and get sorted out a little bit. But time just seems to fly so fast, and you never get as much done as you're expecting to get done. But then I do tend to find things and pick them up and start thinking, oh, I don't remember getting that. And, oh, I'd forgotten I had that. And start looking through things. And yeah, everything takes then a lot longer. Okay, so now we're on to the Ys. So we want M. So Ys are all the larger gems. Uh, sorry, rounds. So we want... Pull this forward a bit. If I pull that too far forward, you won't see the tray. So it's a bit of a balancing act. So we want number 30 for starters. Okay, just pull that up slightly. And we have got a number 30. The wear all rounds these as well. So it's clever how you can make such a, a lovely picture with just all different round shaped gems. Okay, 
and we want M is number 43, which is this gorgeous one again that we've just used um, on the other card. So 43, 27, 43. Okay. Oops, can't pick this one up. Right, my nails are just starting to recover again after doing bits of gardening and things and um, I'm starting to use some nail treatment stuff again to try and get them back to how I did have them. Right, 43, now I want 44. So where's 44? That's 45. Why have I not got a 44? Okay, that's not good. Should have one of each. Let me just get these out and have a look. No, there's not one at the bottom. So. Let me see. 13. Oh, that one. That's a special shape, so that's no good. These got put in the wrong place. I do believe they have. I do believe they have. So, 72. It's completely out of place as well. 27.44. Oh, they're all out of order. Silly Liz. 43.44 is there. 45.56.78.80.81. I wonder why I've got these out of order. Right, anyway, let's just see where we go from here. So, we want... They're teardrops, they're a, a YX. So they go behind that one. So that's the Y's there. Aha, okay. Mm, right. <laughs> I must have been having fun the last time I put some away and I've not put them back in the right order. And then that makes things just that little bit more complicated. And I can't be doing the complicated. Right, so that's that one, so that's 44, so we have got a 44. 44, 45. Then we want a 56, which is these blue ones, which, ooh, okay. I've got an empty bag, so I must have used these. Oh, that's different. I wonder if I didn't have the right... Uh, Back for these, okay. So maybe I didn't have any left. All right, so that's fifty six, and I want seventy eight, which is the red ones. So strictly speaking, because I've done this card before, there should be a bag for everyone. Okay, put those into there. And then 80. Wow, there's a lot of these. I should think these are from Christmas, all the green ones. Okay. I'm going to have a very full bin by the time I finish this with all these horrid little bags. And 80, 81 is T, which is the purple ones. They're only just bigger than a normal size drill. Still quite a small one. Okay. Oops, hope you're still with me. It's a little bit longer video, this one. Takes a lot longer to edit and do as well. Right, then we want number 91. And, ah, I wonder if that one that I thought was 71 is 91. No, it's not, so I haven't got them. Let me have a look. So we're back on the, have we got them all out of order again? 6, 18, 19, 20, 21, 52, 51, 52, 52. No, so why have I not got number 91? Very strange. Yeah. Oh, I think it might be starting to thunder again. Um, mind you, Millie's got plenty of people with her. But 
but uh, no that is 91 it is 91 it's just my writing oh liz what are you like yeah for whatever reason millie millie's our little scottish terrier our little scotty dog um she's not bothered about fireworks we managed to from being a puppy she doesn't bother with the bangs of the fireworks she, she sort of like looks at you if you say what's that when they go off but we're very lucky but thunder she really does not like thunder right so the next one is x which is 106 so if it starts thundering you just have to go and sit next to her and just stroke her and just talk to her really and just keep her calm um, and let her know it's nothing to be frightened of uh, somebody once told me that if you yawn at a dog if something you know happens like fireworks or whatever then by yawning you're showing them that you know it's just phew, nothing to worry about it's just boring nothing um, and it seems to have worked as I say with the fireworks so we're just now still working on it with that thunder but yeah hopefully I won't be too much longer because I know the boys are here and they're playing with it, but yeah, I like to go and give her a mummy cuddles when it's thundering. I know the other night we had a terrible night because she was so upset with herself because it was she could obviously hear it thundering in the distance. We couldn't hear it, but then later on it did thunder, so we knew that that's why she'd been so unsettled. But oh goodness, she was on the bed, off the bed, um, cuddling up to me, going away from me, and it was so hot as well don't think anybody slept that night and then little monkey didn't want to get up in the morning she yeah, just looked at me she went behind all the pillows and hid and there was just this little head poking out saying please don't make me get up i'm tired and i'm like yeah you will be tired because you kept us all up as well <laughs> so one for one nearly done on this one for one this lovely blue colour yeah, these are absolutely gorgeous these colours right so that's one for one oh come on get out get out oh just take this out oh these bags these bags i haven't got the patience for them today okay i am still quite tired these days at the moment um, we've not been having some very good nights, right? And then 147 is the last one, which is the large purples. Okay. Right. And it is Pride weekend this weekend, so we will be out celebrating. And there's also um, what they call a puffin trail, where they make like models of, they're like, um, oh, like fiberglass models of the birds the puffins and they're all covered in different things i'll do try and do a little video of it when we go around and see them and uh, yeah so we're going to see those this weekend as well. so that'll be fun right i don't think c6 i don't think there was any specials on this one no they were all just normal drills so they're all just to go in the normal drill pile our little animals Okay, so then that's that sheet finished with as well because that's those cards done. So we just have the two bunny rabbit ones to do. Okay. Oh, well, it's not taking too long. <laughs> About an hour's video probably again. Right, so on this one, we've just got a 5, a 25 and a 26. Okay. Uh, the three out of this one. Okay. Put those back away in there and put Floxy bunnies back. It's uh, handy to keep the little plastic sleeves that they come in because then you just keep your cards nice and safe as well. Right, so number five is the pinky one. It's a lovely palish pink. I'm getting a lovely collection of these drills now. I must start getting the projects done that I'm starting on and get some of these used up. But I have so many nice canvases to do as well. It's so difficult to then find um, time to do these as well. But I am hoping to get a little bit more time soon. Right, H is the next one, which is 25. 
make sure after I've spent all this time putting them into order that I put them in the right colours. It would be awful to now muddle them up and then think, oh, I spent all that time doing them and now I've muddled them all up. Oh, these are a little bit better bags. These are possibly the craft buddy ones that came with the kit because I did use those as well. And they do tend to be quite a nice quality little grip seal bag. I do tend to keep those. And number 26. one done as well so the final one is peter rabbit and we have oh one two three four five six different ones and they're all the gems so let's have a look yep so we have oh yeah it's definitely thundering j We want number one, which is our clear silver, which I say is going to be quite a big bag. Oops, get those out of there. Right, that's number one. And then we want number 22. I was hoping my craft buddy uh, delivery might come today. I've had a note from the courier saying that it's on its way. Right, 22. I actually ended up with two different colours of this. And now I'm looking at those thinking they don't look different colours at all. They are actually the same colour. It must have been. I must have had the light on or something when I was looking at them. So I'm just going to put them all into one bag. Because they do look the same now. Oh dear. <laughs> Save on bags. Okay. And I'll take that sticker off there. Put it back into my empty bags there so that I know I've got it. And take these out of here. Okay. Oops, I've not seen any lightning yet, but I can definitely hear rumbles of thunder in the background. Alright, so 18, 22, 23, we want number 25, which is our nice green colour again. Okay, oops, come on, get out of there, that's it. Uh, that's probably why it's a bit dark as well in here. I was half expecting the flash to come on, to be honest. But it hasn't done. 25 and 26 is the next one, which is the darker green. Lovely for holly leaves, this one. Okay. Right. And then number 45. We want 45, which is the blue colour. And that's that one there. And then 101 is the last one. And yay, was the cry. We are done. <laughs> okay, it takes a bit of time doing, uh, but it gives me time to have a bit of a, a chat and a natter. Um, albeit I've not talked too much in this on different things because I've had to concentrate a little bit. So I'm a little bit tired at the moment. Um, so with the hot weather and then hubby's not well, he's been okay, but he's been very tired, so I've been having to monitor it a little bit more closely. Okay. And that's that one. And that's those all done. And we can put the lid on that box there. And we can put this card away here. Oops, don't want to go in now. Look. It's just got a bit raggy where the staples were. Just wanted to hang on to it. Keep that little card at the back. So we're going to be using that to put away the normal resin drills. And then I just want the ABs out again. Oops. 
don't leave these art dot drawers they're smashing just for keeping all your ABs in and I can see all the different colours the different shades with them being just clear tops uh, and I've got my AB numbers on most of them the actual DMC numbers um, and then they just look so pretty all in there with those colours really sweet and nice right so that's that one okay and then have I got a bag of 310 in here that's my bag that I've got of um the 50 split 50 50 split of b5 200s and ab5 200s you can just see the mixed so I, what i tend to do is put them into my tray and however they land in the tray then i just work along the lines of the tray there so that i know as i'm putting them on it's completely random where i'm putting them right and that's my bag of three tens oh look they're escaping oh no they're not <laughs> I thought they were getting out then. It's not. That's the 939s looking at me. Okay. I have got another massive bag of 310s somewhere as well. Um, I think it's in my uh, cart downstairs. So I'll we'll have to fish that out. So this is the extras on top of the huge bag I've got as well. Right. So we are finally done and put away. Okay. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing me put these away and looking at these cards. I will be doing um, like an overview of all the 30 cards that I've done. So watch out for that. And in that video, the uh, giveaway winner will be announced as well. So watch this space. So if you've enjoyed watching this with me, a uh, thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. This is the last video now that you can comment on. Uh, to go into the prize draw after this one you won't be able to because the giveaway on the next one will be drawn so the giveaway will be closed and if you want to come back and actually see that video and not miss it if you press the subscribe button then by being a subscriber you get a notification to like your little uh, notifications box to say that the video has come up so you won't miss it so it's always worth subscribing <laughs> just helps me out a little bit with youtube as well so thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.